It's almost midnight, and these young nurses are waiting for the bus. They've nicknamed it the Bus of Hope. It will take them to Udine in northern Italy. There are currently more than 450 jobs on offer in the nursing sector there and 12,000 applicants from all over Italy. I've already taken part in 10 tests. You have to try everything. The bus is the cheapest. You can do everything in one day. Valentino is one of the job seekers. Like many here, he's disappointed that he can't get a decent job despite his qualifications. Most of us are working, but the question is how. Some slog for eight hours but are badly paid. Others work 300 kilometers away from home. There's little left after the rent and travel costs. Many think that the EU is partly to blame for the poor job situation in Italy, so they're again planning to vote for Eurosceptical parties. The Five Star Movement should get another chance and show us what it can do. Let's hope. It's 700 kilometers to Udine, a trip through the whole of Italy in the hope of finding a permanent job up north. Many trains arrive in Rome from the south full of people looking for jobs. They all head for the capital's trade fair center. Some 5,000 teachers are hoping to land one of 600 training posts as teachers for pupils with special needs, a scheme created by Italy's populist government, despite the debt crisis in the education sector. Domenico comes from Naples. He works as a supply teacher in Milan, 800 kilometers away. He doesn't know how the government will finance the new posts, but he's hoping to get one. Of course, I'm nervous. My professional future could be decided today. This could change my life. But the pressure is enormous. Domenico and 2,000 fellow hopefuls have to go to Hall 5. Many applicants are already waiting patiently. They know that these tests are their only chance to get a state post, but also how slim their chances are. If you succeed here, it means you're really lucky. But to be honest, nobody in my generation believes in permanent jobs anymore. One desk per candidate. No phones, no other help allowed. Everything has to be above board. But is this really a way of selecting qualified teachers? For many, it's just another facet of Italy's absurd bureaucracy. In the future, people will continue to leave their homes in southern Italy in search of work. Like 52-year-old Luisa Zampella, who has spent much of her professional life on train journeys hoping to land a permanent position. She says that what's happening in Italy, a founding member of the European Union, should be considered a warning for the EU as a whole. Nobody really believes in Europe anymore or in governments which have taken us to this point. Many young Italians just see the mistakes. They're discouraged and disillusioned by the EU. Luisa commutes five hours a day. She can't find a job in Naples, so she goes to Rome, where she has a position as a supply teacher at the moment. She thinks this is terrible. I see a stream of people at Rome Station every morning, and I often think we're a sea of desperate people. Desperate people looking for a secure job, and with every generation, the number is increasing.